Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome to the year 2023. What a year it has been uh, in 2022. It was a very challenging year for many people and many businesses. And uh, let's just recap what happened in 2022, all right? So in 2022, we saw the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. Most countries have lifted their restrictions on people, so uh, things are getting back to normal. But just as that was happening, uh, there was the Russian-Ukrainian war, right? Which caused a lot of death, misery, and suffering. Also, it drives up the oil prices across the world. So there was an oil crisis. There was an oil energy crisis driving up the prices of all the things, everything actually. And on top of that, because of the quantitative easing policies of most countries, there's so much money in the economy and there's so much demand, but there was a supply chain problem. Like you cannot get products into the market. So guess what? Prices goes up, right? So there was a huge inflation in most countries and uh, now most state banks are increasing interest rate to try to control the inflation and what that means is that it's getting more and more difficult for companies and individuals to borrow money from the bank that's why you're seeing a lot of real estate companies in vietnam struggling right so it's, it sounds like the year 2022 was a fucking disaster Right, there's no good news. On top of that, you know, a lot of third world developing countries went bankrupt, like Sri Lanka, like, I don't know, Argentina, right? So it's a terrible year for, for a lot of people. And uh, 2023 appears to be moving in the same direction. I mean, it's going to be a very challenging year for, for a lot of people, for a lot of businesses, for a lot of countries even. I'm going to talk more about that in my upcoming videos. We're going to talk about the recession of 2023, what you can do, what you can do to navigate this recession and how you're going to survive and even get ahead or maybe even make money in the recession of 2023. And it's going to get really bad, I'm telling you. And, and I know that a lot of companies are laying off, like in the US in Canada. You know, a lot of uh, engineers, developers are being laid off in Google, in Facebook, in Microsoft, in Twitter, right? A lot of people getting fired and laid off. And same thing's happening here in Vietnam, right? So there's a lot of people getting laid off uh, in uh, Tiki, uh, VNG, and uh, all the tech companies like Lazada and Shopee, they're getting laid off. Because I'm interviewed, I know there's a lot of candidates on the market right now. A lot of really good talent. and. Uh, especially from the real estate companies like uh, CT Group and uh, Nova Group and uh, even Vin Group, right? There's a lot of talent on the market right now. So that tells me that the, 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 the companies here in Vietnam, they're anticipating a terrible year, a terrible year in 2023. I mean, this is supposed to be a happy new year greeting to my fans. Now I'm just telling you that this year is gonna be shit, right? But don't worry, I'm gonna put out videos and I'm gonna tell you how to navigate 2023. That's coming soon, very soon to this channel. So what about me? What about my companies? Well, actually, the last few years has been really good for me. Uh, as you know, we ex expanded dramatically across Vietnam. We have close to 900 employees across my group of companies. Uh, we have five offices across, actually, no, I have seven offices across five cities. And uh, we're continuing to expand and grow because we happen to be in the right space and right time. We're just in the right space time. We're going to continue to do what we do because you know what? I'm actually not doing this for profit or revenue or money or to get rich. I'm doing this for a purpose, whatever I do. And if you know what I do, if you know my work, it's all mission driven. You know, I want to help Vietnamese businesses export. I want to build digital economy here in Vietnam. This is driven from the heart. This is driven by a desire. It's driven by a passion. It's not so much about, you know, making the most money out of uh, what I do. Uh, if, if that's true, then there's a lot of things I wouldn't do, including this YouTube channel. Because this YouTube channel doesn't actually make any money. And I think it's important that People are driven by their passion, by their desire, by a mission, by a bigger 
dream. I, th I think that's ultimately how people succeed. It's not so much about you know making one more buck or you know making two more dollars or you know making uh, as much money as possible. I, I think real success comes from actually wanting to achieve a certain vision, a certain dream, have a goal in life, and want to uh, you know enrich, make it better for other people, for other businesses, for other entities and being helpful, be constructive in society. I think that's ultimately, you know, what makes people successful. And the money comes later, right? Now, I also bought a lot of VinFast cars this year. I got the VF E34 and then I got the VF8. I made a lot of videos about them. And uh, I probably made a lot of enemies by doing that. But a lot of people like uh, threatened me and, uh, you know, say bad things about me on the internet, I don't give a shit really. But uh, you know, I, I just report it as is. I just tell you the true story. Uh, and, and you know, the truth is I, I love Vinfast. I love the Vinfast cars. Uh, I just wish that the quality is a little bit better, okay? Uh, I think they released the cars a little bit too soon. We can probably get better together, man, as a, as a, as a consumer of the product, as a producer of the product. I think we can mutually feedback and, and make a better Vinfast car that you know, the world can be proud of. That's what I think, right? And uh, you know what? I'm gonna buy more VinFast cars. So I already put my reservation down for the VF9 and also the VF5. I'm going to buy every VinFast electric car out there as they are released, all right? Look forward to more VinFast reviews. I, I know VinFast wouldn't like that, but just build a better car so I can say great things about it, right? That's what we want. Right? And, I, and I actually love the car. I, I, I drive the car more than any of my other cars. Like, I'm totally sold on the whole electrification of cars. I think that's the future. That's the way it should be. And uh, the fucking airplane. I'm making a video. Shut the fuck up, airplane. And, <laughs> and, and um, so look forward to more VinFast car reviews coming soon to this channel. If they will sell me the cars, I'll find a way. I'll find a way to buy them, okay? Now, uh, coming soon to this channel, we're gonna talk about the recession of 2023. We're gonna talk about how we got here, how you can succeed in 2023 as an individual and also as a business. We're gonna talk about a lot of things. There's a lot of things I didn't cover, like about the fall of uh, FTX, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies, uh, there's a lot of troubles that Elon Musk is going through right now. Uh, you know, there's a lot of problems at Facebook and, or Meta. We, we're going to talk about all those things uh, coming soon, very soon to this channel because I've been too busy making VinFast videos. So, you know, I've been neglecting all these really important topics and I will get to them very, very soon, all right? Uh, we'll get back to mindset, sales, marketing, management, leadership. We'll get back to all those topics, but we'll continue to review cars as, as well. Um, now, what about my companies? Well, I will continue to expand. I will continue to grow, not just in Vietnam, but also uh, regionally. So we have already signed a, 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 a partnership agreement in Malaysia. So we're going to launch our products there. And very soon, I uh, want to do the same in Philippines. So we're going to grow regionally as well. Um, I think the future is very bright, even though the economy is fucking shit right now. But I think the future for my companies are actually very very bright and I look forward to 2023 with a lot of optimism. The thing is, the thing is, I've made most of my money during recessions, all right? During COVID, during 2008, and probably now. So just to tell you that, you know, there are opportunities regardless of time and place. It's all about you. It's all about what's in here. It's all about how you identify opportunity and take fucking action. Because if you don't take fucking action, nothing happens, all right? Nothing happens. So final note to my fans, this is actually for you. I made this message for you. This happy new year of 2023 message for you. I wish you a great 2023. Uh, I wish you a healthy, safe, successful and uh, fruitful and uh, rewarding 2023 and watch more of my videos all right watch more of my videos and let's prosper together take some fucking action don't be a fucktard